Hi there, my name is Chris Winter and welcome to my short Shopify tutorial updated for this year. Now in this video, I'm gonna go over the basics of getting your Shopify site up and running and we're gonna try and do it really quickly, hopefully around about 10 minutes or less. Now I have made a much longer video if you wanna go much more in depth with your Shopify website, you can check that out on my channel. But this video here is just gonna go over the basics and get you up and running so you can start selling straight away. And also guys, I've got a little present for you for watching this video. I'll put a link to the 25 best free Shopify apps that you need to add to your next Shopify store. These can really help increase the amount of sales and money that you can make from your store. That list is totally free and if you wanna get it, I'll put a link right underneath this video and you can check it out. Now guys, as always, I'd highly recommend you work on your Shopify website at the same time as me. And you can pause the video whenever you need to. And one of the great things about Shopify is that you can get a 14 day free trial without having to put any credit card details in. So you can design your website, get it looking awesome without having to commit anything. I'll put a link in the description box below where you can get that free trial and that'll take you there. We can get started. So once you've clicked that link, the first thing you need to do is click start free trial. Then you can put in an email address, your password and your store name, which is something you can change later on. Once you've done that, you can click create your store. Now they're going to create your store and then they're just going to ask you a few questions. You can just skip these if you want. And then just put in some details about you. And then once you've done that, we can click enter my store. So welcome to your Shopify dashboard. Now this is essentially the main hub of your website. Now we're not gonna go through absolutely every setting today. We're just gonna get you up and running as quick as possible. Then if you want to, you can go through some of my more advanced tutorials. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to our left menu here and click on online store. Then we're gonna go to themes and you can see that the very first thing that we've got is debut. Now a theme is essentially a template which makes your store look great. Because we're getting going quick, debut is a great theme to work with. So what we can actually do is just click customize and we can get started customizing it straight away. So as you can see, we've already got a really good structure with our homepage. We've got a logo up here with a menu in the middle, a search bar and a cart button. We've got a big hero image with some text we can add. We can add an image here with some text we can also had, have some photos here, and we can even feature a collection of products, which we'll do in a little bit. So the very first thing that I think we'll do is add an image here. So to do this, all we need to do is click on image with text overlay and select image. Now we can upload an image right here and I've actually got a few which we can use. So we're gonna create a watch website here. And I've got a nice hero image that I can use. To upload it, all we need to do is drag and drop. And as you can see, we now have a nice background image and we need to change this text. So let's do that as well. Once you're happy with the image, click select and we can now change the text. I think we'll call this watch brand Odessa. So I've created a heading, Odessa watches, and we can also perhaps have a little tagline, something like that. Of course, you can make it better yourself. If you wanna have a button, it's very easy. We can create a button as well. Then all you need to do is add a link, which is something that we'll do later on. So we now have a button. We have a nice title here and we've got our tagline. It's looking pretty good after just 20 seconds. So let's now change this logo. As you can see, it did come with a logo, but of course this is just a text logo and I've got my own logo, which I want to do. To change this, all you need to do is go to header and then click select image. Click upload. We'll go back here and we'll use this prestige logo just for this demo. As you can see, that looks really good. You can also put it in the center if you would like to, but I think we'll keep it on the left. You can also change the size of it, but I think around about 100 pixels was very good. Now, one other really cool thing you can add is an announcement bar. To do this, all you need to do is click show announcement, and you can see that we can actually announce something here, such as a discount. So we can write, Black Friday sale now on. We could change the color as well to maybe red. But I think right now we'll keep it a nice darker color. So it's looking pretty good already. We have a logo up here. We have a title and a button. And we've got our menu, which we'll change in a second. But let's go down here and add this image with text. To do this, all you need to do is click on this little section here and we'll select an image. Let's drag one in from our files. I think this one here is a nice photo. As you can see, it's uploading and it's already now here. 
We can add some image. We can add some text now as well. Great watches, always. And of course, you can add some text, but because this is a short tutorial, we'll keep it nice and simple. Next up, we could also add some other images here as well. Maybe this could be showcasing some of your products, or maybe even just announcing some other things with your company. To change these, all you need to do is click here, and each one has its own little section. Let's add some photos here now as well. I think this one looks good for here. Click select. And of course, you can change all of the photos, the titles and text yourself. We can go through this a little bit more in our longer tutorial, but of course, this is just getting you up and running as quick as you can. So it's looking pretty good. If it was me, I'd like to add this photo to about the right size of here, but it looks all right for now. Next up, we have collections. And in order to create a collection, we need to go back and create a product. Let's do that now. Now, if you ever want to save your site, you can click up here on save and that'll make sure you don't lose any of your work that you've done before. Now to get back home to Shopify, all you need to do is click up here on the top left and we can press that logo. So like I said before, we're going to create a collection now. That's essentially a category and it helps to make your store nice and neat. So to edit this, you go to products, then to collections and let's create a collection. To do this, we go to create collection. And I think this collection is going to be called watches. Now, what we can actually do here is create an automated collection, which means that any product that has the title watch in it will now automatically be in this collection. We can also add an image. So let's say perhaps this photo here. We'll upload that. And of course, if I'm going too quick for you guys at any time, feel free to pause and you can do it at your own pace. Let's click save and we'll create one more collection or maybe two more. Let's see. So of course, to fill these collections, we need some products. Let's do that now. So to add a product, all you need to do is go to products, all products and click add product. So let's add our very first product. We'll type in gold men's watch. And of course you can add a description. Now I'm just going to add a basic description here. This is a great men's watch. Of course you'd add a much better one yourself. And then let's add some photos. So you can go here to products. I think this one looks good. And you can see that it's now uploaded. We can also add some extra photos. If you want, you can just drag them in and you'll see that the very first image is the main photo, which will be displayed on your website. So if you want this one to be the main one, simply drag it. We can add a price. So let's say this watch is going to be $150, but it's actually on sale because it used to be $200 and that's where you add the compare out price. You don't really need to add these things right now. And we'll talk about SKU and barcodes in a longer tutorial. We won't track quantity here because we have unlimited. And what we can do now is click save. As you can see, this is automatically now added this to our collections. Isn't that cool? It's now in the watches collection and the men's watches collection. Let's have a look at it. And you can do this by clicking view on your online store. And there it is. We have our logo up here our menu, which we'll change in a second. We have our price here, which is on sale. You can see it's automatically added that. We've got an add to cart button and a buy it now button, a description. We even got this great little thumbnail section where we can change the photos. And if I click here, you can see it's giving me a nice detailed view of the product. So let's go back for a second and we'll see that we could even add this as a featured collection. But I think first we'll need to add a few more products, which is what I'll do now. So we now have three watches. So I wanted to speed that up for you so we could get through this a little bit quicker, but I just added a few extra, extra products, a men's watch, a copper watch, and a women's watch. So what we can do now is go back to our design page, which we do by going to online store and then clicking customize. And let's add these to the home page. 
So what we can do is go down to this section right here and we can add this as a featured collection. So you can see it's right here, this section. We'll click on this and let's choose the watches collection. Hit select and you can see we now have all of the watches in this collection. Now, this is showing a row of four, but we only have three watches. So let's change this to three products per row. And you can see it's looking fantastic without all of our watches. These ones on sale really standing out. And we can even add a view all button so people can see all of the others. We can change the title here. So we could say our watches. And then you can hit save. And of course, that's that. We even have this nice little section here where we could add perhaps a nice image to really make, uh, make the website stand out. To edit this, it's the same as all of the others. We click down here in this section, hit select image. We'll go back and find a nice image. There you go. I don't think we'll use the text here, so we can simply remove it. And you can see that it just looks really nice. Hit save again. What we can do now is add some, perhaps add some testimonials of happy customers. And we could even add some images down here in a gallery. To do this, we go down, as you'd expect, hit select, and we've already got some images uploaded. So we can quickly go through these. Again, when you're happy, hit save, and let's take a look at our awesome store. So as you can see, we now have a logo up here looking really nice. Our menu, we have our announcement bar and our logo here. We've got our subtitle and our button. We have this really nice image, which you could use as an introduction to your site with some text here. We have perhaps some more text that you could add as a blog. We have our watches, which we can easily click through to. And these will show that you can actually add these to the cart, as you see here. And it drops down here where people can purchase these. If we go back, you can see that we now also have this nice image here. We have some testimonials to uh, be some social proof. And then we've got a nice gallery here as well. This is looking really, really good in about 10 minutes, perhaps a little bit longer, perhaps a little bit shorter, depending how quick you are. But of course, there's so much more that you can do on your Shopify theme, but this was just getting you up and running, adding some products and making your homepage look really, really cool. Please check out my channel if you wanna go much more in depth. We can change so many different things, add so many different plugins and make your website look great so you can make lots and lots of money. I've got lots of videos about Shopify also going on about the best themes to use, the best plugins and add-ons. There's just so much to do. So definitely check them out if you want a more in-depth uh, kind of tutorial. And also just try guys. I think this is the best way to do it. You can get a free trial with Shopify in the link in the description box below. Try it out. It doesn't cost you anything to do it. And you can build your own website like this in about 10 minutes. Good luck. So there you go, guys. That was my short Shopify tutorial for this year. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Now, if you do want to get started with Shopify, I'll put a link in the description box below to that free trial and you can get started creating a website as well. Hope you guys have a great day. Good luck with your Shopify website and I'll see you next time. Bye.